So I've been using a set of the 1000 XM4 series Sony noise cancelling headphones or earbuds for the last year or so now, the WF and the WH. And today I kind of just wanted to talk about what I like about both of them, uh, the strengths of each against one another, and help you kind of choose which one might be best for you because most people are not going to be buying both. All right, so here we are with both of the products. Let's move the earbuds over for a second and we'll just quickly review the headphones, unbox them. Um, so we have 30 hours battery life listed on the box here, uh, wireless active noise canceling, Alexa and Google Assistant built in, they're 360 reality audio. Uh, it kind of gives you an idea of what the touch controls are like. Um, we get a USB type C cable in the box a headphone cable, a in-flight adapter, and the case, which is super nice. You get LDAC, uh, you get their sense engine, you get NFC, which is super nice. Um, yeah, so let's open it up. It's a very simple box. Right at the beginning, you get the easy setup, uh, which tells you to download the Sony Headphones Connect app and power on the headphones, connect it via the app. I've done this already. It's extremely, extremely quick. Um, we have the headphones and then we have some paperwork. We have the manual. We have a free trial for the 360 audio. And then we have the warranty uh, card. So pretty straightforward there as well. And if we go ahead and, and open the case, We have the headphones here. Um, it's really nice. Both ear cups uh, can fold inwards. Uh, the ear cups have a full rotation, um, which is really, really nice. One, they sit nice and flat on a table. Um, two, when you do fold them, they fit really nicely into the case. It's very easy. You have your in-flight adapter here. Um, you have your USB-C cable, and then you have your headphone cable. It's a really nice case. It's a hard shell. Um, it's got a little pocket on the back here. It's very tight, so I don't know how much you're gonna fit back there. Um, it's also got this little strap, so you could use a carabiner and hook that up to something. It's just nice to hold it that way. Um, the zipper is f really nice, really good quality. And yeah, overall, very nice packaging. Um, I throw this into my work bag all the time, and you can tell that the container and the case is still really good shape all right so now for the earbuds uh let's go ahead and open that this was a terrible time to cut my nails there we go it's all paper uh this box feels like a recycled cardboard um I really, really like the fact that they're using paper instead of plastic. One use plastics suck. So using paper is really, really nice. Here is the manual. Um, you get some quick instructions, pull the earbuds out, pull the strip out. The LED is on, they're working. Use the headphone app, just like the actual headphones. And you can connect via Bluetooth. So we'll get that set up in a second. Um, you get some more ear tips in here and the cable. So yeah, this is all paper. This is really, really nice. So you get a little flap here and you get the USB-C cable and you open the little flap here and you get the different sized earbuds. So that is really, really nice. Again, it being paper, uh, makes me happier than it should, but, uh, really, really happy with that. Here is the paper, so let's take this off. Uh, very nice size case. Uh, open that up. We have our little thing. Take these out. And take this paper out. That was uh, covering the charging contacts. Put these back in. Oh, 
Oh yeah, those snap in really, really, really nice. Um, compared to my Galaxy Buds, for example, where they don't have any kind of magnetic uh, attachment, these go really nice. Like you can see, like there's a little bit of distance and it gets in there perfect. Nice size container. This could easily fit in the change pocket on a pair of jeans. And yeah, you got your USB-C. Really nice. Let's go back to the packaging quickly. Um, eight hours plus 16 hours on the case. Um, again, Google Alexa. And not much else on here. Let's go through some of the information. Let's see what they got. So again, another 360 audio trial. Uh, oh, that's nice. They got some cleaning instructions here on how to clean the tips. Um, yeah, just some cleaning tips on how to clean the actual earbud tips, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, in English and in French, so that's that's good to have. They tell you to make sure that you don't use any kind of wet wipes. Um, you don't need to pull them off. Um, nice. We get our operating instructions, uh, a reference guide, and the warranty card again. So that's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, we'll hit back with the rest of the review. So let's go ahead and do the pairing for these. I've already paired the actual headphones. I've been using those for a couple weeks um, prior to getting the earbuds. Um, so let's go ahead and see if the earbud process is, is similar. Let's go ahead and turn those on. Uh, switch to another device. Let's go ahead and add. I think we have to remove these and put them in our ears. So let's go ahead and do that. I wonder if it needs, oh, there we go. So you just need to have the earbud close to it. Link. Pair. Bluetooth is connected. You see the Bluetooth icon just appeared. And wow, we're good to go. Wow, that's awesome. So it tells you not only the earbud levels, but also the case level. 69, nice. And yeah, that is extremely awesome, extremely easy. Just as easy as the headphones were. The headphones were very similar. You turn them on, um, you tap your phone to the earpiece and they connected pretty flawlessly. So um, yeah. Very straightforward, it's asking me to sign in. I'll do that later. And it'll walk you through how to use the headphones. Um, we'll do adaptive sound later as well. The activity, um, you can have that set up and then you can do the 360 audio as well. I'm gonna do that later. Um, and yeah. So first let's talk about the strengths that both of them do have. They both have incredible uh, active noise cancellation. They both have very good noise isolation, which is their ability to block out sounds without using the microphones. That's just by inherently blocking out the, the noise coming in from outside. Um, they're both extremely comfortable. They're both very portable. The headphones, um, you know, considering they are a pair of headphones, they do pack in a very nice and relatively small package. Um, the nice thing is, is that they do fold so that does help reduce their overall footprint. Um, they 
fold inwards so it makes it a little bit smaller and a little bit nicer to put away. Each ear cup folds in. Um, unfortunately, you can't really fold both of them in without really twisting the plastic a little bit too much. Uh, this is the way that they should be folded um, based on the way that Sony has the case layout and the case has the ability to fit everything that you need inside of it. Both of these have really great uh, battery life. They both do a very good job of getting you through your day no matter what you're doing. Um, obviously the earbuds have a little bit of a different setup because the case itself actually has the ability to charge the earbuds. Whereas these, the entire charging ability would be with the headphones and their battery capacity inside them. Both of these uh, audio setups do use the exact same app and it is extremely easy to use. They're extremely easy to set up. Um, I've had my dad set up the headphones before. He's not the most tech savvy person on the planet, but he was able to get the app set up no problem without even needing my help. Both products are built really well. Uh, both the actual products themselves and the accessories that come with them. So the case in terms of the earbuds and the case here in terms of the headphones are just built really well. Um, they've gone through a lot. I've had these in my bags. I've been throwing these around. I've used these on all the trips that I've gone on the last year. Um, and you know, everything looks good as new. Both of these do utilize Bluetooth 5.0 and they both have USB-C to allow for better charging. Obviously, any new products should be using USB-C, no more micro USB or mini USB. Um, and because they use USB-C, it helps them charge very, very quickly. And I just have to carry less cables around. Now, let's talk about the headphones, the WH. So overall, they have a better bass profile, which is pretty typical for headphones versus earbuds. They have a much larger size, a much larger driver, and that's able to get a little bit more bass frequency out. I personally find them a lot more comfortable to wear over long periods of time. Uh, for me, earbuds are something that I can't really wear for too long, uh, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm doing a lot of talking, I honestly can't wear earbuds in for too long because I feel like my jaw really pushes against the earbud in my ear. Um, but these headphones, I can wear them all day long, as long as it's not too hot, which we'll get into in a little bit. Also, because of the microphones on the headset, the uh, um, noise cancelling, the active noise cancellation is quite a bit better on these. Um, the pass-through is a lot better. Um, I feel like just the overall quality of the microphones doing that pass-through and doing that noise cancellation just do a much better job on the headphones than they do on the earbuds. The headphones have 37 hours of battery life, which is more than enough to get you through a day and a half of great audio listening. And because I mentioned before, they're USB-C, they do charge up pretty quickly. They charge up completely within about three hours, which isn't too bad. Um, so in between uses, if you got a portable battery bank, you can just toss that in there, have them charge, and they're good to go again for another 37 hours. The other big benefit of these is that they are multi-device, so you can actually use it with two devices at the same time. So you can use it with your phone and your laptop, for example, or your phone and your tablet, um, which allows you to you know, accept any kind of calls that come in with your phone. But if you're using your tablet or your laptop as your main media watching device, you can use that as the main priority device. As I mentioned, the microphones on here are much better. So when I was using it in calls, it did sound a lot better. Um, not n not to like a crazy extent, but good enough that it was pretty noticeable. The other nice benefit is that these do have NFC pairing, which makes the ori original setup much quicker. But like I said, the app really does make pairing extremely quick. And the last thing is that these can also be used wired. So if the battery does die, you can use them wired, but when it's wired, there's obviously no noise cancellation or anything anymore, just the noise isolation and the quality overall does change because active noise cancellation actually does change the sound profile of the headphones, but they do still do a good job. So if the battery does die on you, you can still end up using them. Now for the earbuds, obviously they're much, much smaller. If we compare the cases of the two alone, uh, you know, huge difference here. And then if we <laughs> compare the actual size of the product, the earbuds are very, very, very small. So size-wise, they have a massive advantage. You can fit these in any pocket. Um, hopefully you do have pockets. I know that a lot of clothes don't have pockets anymore, but these can fit almost anywhere. 
It's a very light and small case. It's got a good shape to it, so it does feel pretty comfortable in any pocket. Because of that, they're a lot more portable. They're a lot easier to take around with you. They're a lot easier to just, you know, shove in your pocket and go on your way. And if you're not going to use them, it's not going to feel like you kind of brought them for no purpose, like they took up a lot of space, like these headphones would. Also, because of the inherent design, they have a lot less heat buildup. So as I was talking about before, the headphones do get really warm. So I, I feel like I wear these a lot less during the summer. Um, and I only really wear them when I really want good noise cancellation or if I'm in my house. Um, when I'm out and about though, I will always end up using the earbuds during the summer months. Um, the headphones just get much too hot for me. Uh, I get pretty sweaty. So these do really help quite a bit. Um, and for any kind of workouts and stuff, I I don't know how people wear headphones when they work out, but obviously the earbuds are a much better solution for me. I also feel like the earbuds overall have a much more accurate sound profile. Um, both of these do sound very good um, and they have great sound and there's nothing super noticeable, but I do feel like these just overall have a better sound profile. Other than the treble, the treble does seem to be oddly lacking on the earbuds. Overall, however, I do highly suggest either one of these. If you're gonna be doing a lot of travel, the headphones are almost a no-brainer. They're incredible. Uh, I feel like these are some of the best noise canceling headphones you can buy right now. And actually the XM5s just came out. So the XM4s are on sale a lot uh, at the moment. Um, they get pretty inexpensive and these are just a really good investment. Um, for anybody who does a lot of travel, whether it's air travel, public transport, um, any kind of stuff like that, these are a really great option. Now, if you really like having noise cancellation while you're working out, um, while you're moving out and about and being a lot more active, then I would highly suggest the earbuds. I use the earbuds a lot when I go for bike rides, although I have the pass-through on so that I can hear things around me. Um, I end up using these a lot while I'm doing a lot of cleaning in the house or if I'm doing a lot of activity where I feel like I'm gonna get really warm, I don't wanna wear the headphones. And I like throwing these just in my pocket if I'm gonna be going on a long drive um, with other people driving and I'm sitting in the back. Sometimes I don't want to listen to the music that they're listening to. Sometimes things get quiet. These, I can just throw them on, put them in there. I can even fall asleep. Uh, they're a great solution for that. So yeah, that's really it. I honestly have wanted to make this video for quite a while, but I figured that I wanted to get through the summer months with both of these first because I did buy these in August of last year. So it's been about a year now and I feel like I've got a really, really good experience with both of them. I use them all the time, both of them quite a bit. Um, I use this most often for calls. And like I said, I use it whenever I'm traveling and I use the earbuds the most when I'm doing something active or just moving around. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thought Slime, Step Back, and Rogers and Son of Dojo. And thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to check out any of my other product recommendations, you can go ahead and check out this video right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.